they were perfect. Um, they had it all. John was a very, very successful businessman in the finance world. Ellie, she was incredible. They had everything to live for. Newly married and looking forward to their future, Jonathan Udall and wife Ellie went to Vegas in 2018 for their honeymoon, excited to explore the Grand Canyon with friends. But the Airbus helicopter they travelled in crashed and burst into flames. Jonathan suffered burns over 90% of his body before succumbing to his injuries 12 days later. Ellie and three others also died. In a lawsuit, the Udall family were granted a £78 million payout. But it's not about the money. They believe their loved ones could have survived if proper measures were in place. There's an issue with fuel tanks and helicopters in America. There's a loophole in the law that allows helicopters to fly without a crash-resistant fuel system. Basically, it's a flying bomb, and that's our lawyer's words. After the incident, tour operator Papillion installed crash-resistant fuel systems across their entire fleet, and the Federal Aviation Administration issued regulations making the technology a requirement for new models in 2020. But the regulation only applies in the US, and Philip wants the world to be aware and ask themselves a very simple question. This helicopter have a crash-resistant fuel system? And if the answer's no, I'd think very carefully about whether I got into it or not. Nothing will bring either John or Ellie back. We, we, you know, we can't do that. We have to accept it. It happened. We are where we are. One of the reasons for taking, if you like, the lawsuit and fighting it all the way was the fa fact that we wanted to have a voice. The family will now set aside some of the settlement money to promote helicopter safety and provide burn survivors support. Shaman Freeman Powell, Sky News.